What are you doing? Oh, I caught you. Oh, is that your ball? Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones and this is my parrot Kiara and I. She's uh, in a chair right now because, uh, in a chair, sorry, in a cage right now, in a chair right now because she is flighted and we're hanging outside together. So, uh, no, she can't be out of her cage. And I have one of those flight harnesses, but she doesn't like it. Um, she gets pretty angry and hates it when that's on her. But I still like to, for her to enjoy the outside and to hear all the other birds and get some fresh air and stuff like that. Especially since it is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see her. Say hi, Kiara. This video is about you today. Yeah. Um, but when I'm inside, of course, she's out, so. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a kayak parrot uh, Q&A today. <clears throat> I'm just going to try to answer some questions that you guys have asked in my previous videos and things like that about Kiara. Uh, Alright, so the first question that is often asked about kayaks is if they're temperamental or moody. And the truth about that is, yes, they are. And that's a very clear cut answer, but I can kind of describe a little bit more about that. So every kayak's different and every bird species, no matter what species they are, is going to have kind of like their thing, you know, and be aggressive and moody. Kiara, she, a couple things that really bother her is one, she loves to play rough and sometimes she can be too rough and not realize it. Another thing is she... Um, she's really protective of towels, so she really likes to dry herself off after showers. And if you don't let her use your towel to dry off, she will get extremely upset and mad, won't you? Um, and go into like a little screaming frenzy, you know? Um, another thing, yeah, you do do that. Another thing is if you take anything away from her that she really wants, uh, she will get extremely upset. So... She wants head scratches right now, I think. Uh, so she does get extremely moody. And you can't come out because you're flighted and you'll fly away. I try putting you on your harness, but you hate it. She wants out and she can't get out because she's used to being outside whenever um, she wants and out of her cage because she used to not be flighted. Her bre the breeder cut her wings. Now she's an adult, one years old, and her flight feathers came in. And she's not used to being in a cage outside. She usually lets herself roam free. Uh, like I said, the harness she doesn't do well with. And is um, gets really aggressive and uh, she just hates it. And she'll start screaming as well. But the uh, next question is, what's her favorite food? Kiara's favorite food is grapes, hands down. If there's food in the dish, she will go for the grapes first. Um... So that is, grapes are definitely her favorite food. Um, can she talk? Yes, she can talk. She can say pretty bird. She can say step up. And she can say, she can whistle. <whistles> like that. Um, it's never when I want her to though. It's always on her own turf. And how long will she live and how old is she? Kiara is over a year, year old. She, uh, she was born in April 21st of 2017 and it's 2018 and uh, so she's a little bit over a year old and she will live up to 40 years old okay and what is her cage like I will insert a clip of her cage inside it's really nice and pretty big and she seems to enjoy it quite fine okay so this is her cage I'm gonna try to snip it into the video wanna come here nice girl good girl um, but yeah I've got some toys uh, she loves to sleep in that little hammock thing and she's got her water here which she's trained to train to drink out of so it stays fresh um, I made a couple of the toys in here like that one it's got like floss and like a key ring that one was a bought toy most of these are bought um, but yeah basically and she enjoys those I, I try to get her more and more toys as I can she's got a rope swing and all that and um, also this little sand to help um, pretty much trim her nails so it's a good size cage. I tried to get her something big without being too ginormous in the room. Um, does the, the uh, kayak's behavior change with two of them? That was a question asked. I don't know for sure, 
but yes, I would assume that they would play with each other more and need less attention from you. Um, however, I don't think that would make them from, like, to not love their, their, um, owner any less. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's agreeing with me. Oh, and I know you want out. I'm sorry. Um... She, she was, she loves being out, and that's the problem is she can't, she's not used to it, like I said. Um, is it okay to only give attention to your bird in the evenings? And the answer to that is no. If you have to work all day for five days a week and you can only give attention to your bird in the evenings, that's not fair to your parrot, and it's best for you to get another bird to be with them. Get a pair. Um, so get another kai to be with, um your bird during the day and then in the evenings you can let them out and play with them for about two hours would be healthy for them so they can stay out but if you only have one bird you need to be able to have attention with them at least two times a day for anywhere from probably about four hours if you don't have another parrot and that could be just sitting down watching TV reading a book next to them letting them fly um, it could mean anything just talking to them etc um, can you have the cage open while you're out? So that I think that question meant like if you are going to work or something, can you leave the cage open? That's completely up to the bird that you have. Kiara is really good that if I leave the cage door open, she'll stay just on top of her cage. She's really good about that. But um, for the most part, I would say most birds aren't good with that. Um. Are kayaks good with other birds? Other bird species, no. Mo kayaks are not good with other bird species. Most of, most of the time, they uh, are way too strong and aggressive. I mean, these are the acrobats of the bird world. They're not. There you go. You get to hear how loud they are. But they. How should I say it? They're not great flyers, but they're extremely strong and have strong talons. And sometimes they're even known to kill other birds. Now, that being said, that's not a rule of thumb. Some birds do fine with conures and things like that. Um, so, I mean, it just depends on your bird and whether or not they get along with another one. But I would always have your other bird species in another cage and then supervise them when they're out to play. Um, is it better to have a pair of them? It's always better to have a pair of birds, in my opinion. Uh, I just cannot afford another kayak. I mean, they're very expensive. She was eight hundred and fifty dollars, and that doesn't in that includes you know that doesn't include her cage and toys and the time commitment she is. Um, are they loud? Yes, they are loud, but they're not as loud as, of course, cockatoos or macaws or amazons, um, and even I would say they're quieter than sun conures. If you you think this species is loud. Wait till you see larger birds. I had a cockatiel from probably like 9 to the age of 18. Um, I think it was maybe, no, it was 8 to 18 years old. So like about a little over 10 years or so. I don't know. Maybe it was longer than that. I can't remember. But I know that that cockatiel was louder than my kayak. She's only loud when she wants something, when she's mad. Um, when you know she wants something and you don't let her have it. and uh, Or... She's lonely and she wants attention. Um, how to cut back on the screaming. The best thing to do is to not reinforce it. She is not that bad of a screamer. She's actually a really great bird um, when it comes to noise. Uh, she will scream when she's upset. And I think it was good that y'all saw that in the video. But I don't really do anything to hold back her screaming. Because she only screams when she's extremely lonely. And I know to give her attention. And that I haven't been fair to her. When I've been fair to her all day, I close the door and she's quiet. She doesn't make a peep or a sound. But with other birds, sometimes they'll scream all day long until you give them attention. Do not reinforce that screaming and don't go in the room if, uh, you know, if, you know, to reinforce the screaming because then they're going to scream because they know it's going to get your attention. Does that make sense? So that's the best way to handle it, is to never reinforce reinforce screaming, and when they're quiet, go surprise them and spend a lot of time with them and say, good bird. So when they're quiet, they're, no, they're, they know that they're more likely to get attention, and if they're screaming, they're not going to get attention. Um, what kind of kayak should you get? Kiara is a black-headed kayak. 
Of course, you can get a white belly kaique. Um, they're both great. White belly kaiques are a little bit bigger than black headed kaiques. Kaiques, black headed kaiques are also a little bit more. I don't know. They're pretty much the same. I've heard black black kaiques are a little bit more crazy, uh, but I don't know exactly on that. And um, what is she weird about? Kiara is weird about a lot of things. She. I would say the towels is the weirdest. She gets super protective of her towels and she gets super protective of her food sometimes. If she's really hungry, she will get extremely protective when it comes to food and extremely aggressive. But other than that, she's not that weird. Um, it's These birds are a huge time commitment and a lot of work and they can't be left in a cage all day. I know I'm kind of being a hypocrite right now because I'm doing the video with her in a cage, but we're outside and I'm wanting to her to enjoy the warm air and everything around us. <laughs> and toys. Toys are very important as you can see. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, I'm totally willing to do uh, another Q&A. Um, so let me know. I'll just do part two. And thanks for watching.